Hey, thanks for tuning in. This is Morningstar Talks. This is Sit Lolly, and um, I'm here with another video, and this one is just going to be more informal. I just want to talk to you guys about some of the things that I've been feeling and thinking about lately. Uh, first and foremost, I kind of want to pick at the way that I'm dressed right now. A lot of times I get discouraged to come on YouTube and look like this with just a normal hairdo, glasses, no makeup, regular shirt, and it honestly feels quite uncomfortable. But I realize that what matters is not how I look, what matters is what I'm saying. And if I'm worthy to you to be listened to, then that's enough for me. I know that I don't have a lot of viewers and that's not the goal anyways. If there's one person that is at least watching these and just being encouraged, that's all that matters. And as well as if you're encouraging me, that makes me feel good. And to know that there's people out there that are rooting for me, that care about me, that want to see more from me and believe in me. So I just want to share this video. So like I said, it's really uncomfortable for me to be here and talk to you guys without makeup and just like with a normal outfit because I'm so used to getting ready before making a video and I'm always worried about, okay, how is this going to sound? How is the editing going to be? And I just don't want to worry about that anymore because I realize that I'm worrying too much and in the process it's causing me to not upload these videos at all. They're just on my phone. I don't want to do that for this video. Um, but besides that, um, some of the things that came up was do I aspire to be famous? And honestly, I'm not going to lie, for a long time, um, even when I was little, I felt like... Fame was the thing that everyone should achieve, that that was just something that I wanted uh, because I thought that being famous was your was where your power lies, where your authority lies. And I realized that it doesn't matter if I become famous or not, because people that are famous right now, they're literally just walking advertisements because at the end of the day, like you can be, you can be a singer, you can be an artist, you can be a fashion designer, you can be all these things that make you as a celebrity. But at the end of the day, you're out here still doing propaganda for other things, whether that's music, whether that's clothes, maybe you come up with your own makeup album, your brand, whatever the case is, but you end up becoming a walking advertisement. Like you being a famous celebrity has anything to do with, with like how you're using your power because at the end of the day, it's all controlled. There's all these people that are celebrities or they become famous and at the end of the day, they end up going with the regulation, the rules to stay being a celebrity, being famous and that sort of thing because we have rules and regulations set in place so that there is order, so that there's famous people above normal people and whenever the famous person um, does something out of the ordinary they get talked about and they get they get shamed they get bashed so that way that the same occurrence doesn't happen and in the end like people just are walking on eggshells to avoid losing their um their status and i realized like i don't want to do that like if i was to become famous like i don't want other people's opinions to be on my head and like even be more higher than they already are right now so I realized, like, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to have that stress. I don't want to have to worry about what I look like. I don't want to worry about what I'm wearing. I don't want to worry about um, just the opinions of other people and what they think of me and, like, or, or what they think of me as in, like, if I'm ugly, if my voice is is just weird or, or my teeth or whatever the case is, like, there's all this judgment and I myself am speaking because that's, that, those are thoughts that I have, you know, because these are thoughts that I myself have, you know, when you look at someone, you're always judging, like, what they're wearing, what they're dressing, what they're saying, how they're saying it, and I realized, like, being famous you have that on a, like 10 times as much and i realized that i was striving to become famous but in the end i don't want to do that so this video is my way of just 
showing myself that that's not what I want. And but I still want to continue putting messages out there about what I believe because I believe that what I have to say is powerful and it holds truth. So I don't really care about what I'm wearing. I don't really care about how I look because I realize that if if it is worth being listened to, it will be listened to and it'll be listened by the right people and eventually it'll come because you, I will attract the right people at the right time for me. So I guess I just wanted to share that. And the reason why I bring up um, do I aspire to be famous is because for a long time I was caught up in the idea that I was at one point going to be famous. I was going to have a huge influence. I was going to be someone greater in the world. And I realized, like, I don't even want that. I don't even want that because I know how people are. I know how how people can, when they are navigated by other people, there's just judgment. When Moses was a leader of the Israel, he had a lot of judgment on him. Like, he, he a lot of people judged his uh, lack of authority. And uh, due to that, like... Um, Moses struck some people down, not that he struck down, but God struck them down for not believing that Moses was um, the prophet of God. So that's just an example. But uh, yeah, so I just feel like when you have a greater influence, a greater group of people that you are influencing, there just, there just becomes more problems. So I realized that I just I realize that I don't want to, I don't want that for myself. I don't want that for myself. And it's not something that I'm seeking. I'm not seeking to have anxiety. I'm not seeking to have worries or um, judgments. And I just realize that that's not something that I want. So uh, I'm still going to continue making these videos because the people that it does reach, I'm sure will listen to them. But I'm not doing this for, for, for attention. I'm not doing this so... Um, I can look good at the eyes of people that I know or people that um, are going to see this. Like, I just want to be authentically me and I just want to get over the, the, my, my mind or my heart telling me, yeah, you're going to become famous. So you got to watch your step. Like, you got to watch how you're dressing. You got to watch what you're presenting yourself as. Because I realized, like, all that stuff does not matter. Like, it does not matter. It doesn't matter if I get married. It doesn't matter if I, if I have friends. It doesn't matter if I have support or I don't have support. Because I realized, like, it's getting to the point where, like, I'm literally not happy being morphed into someone that I'm not and I realize that if I'm not happy it doesn't even matter what you think of me it doesn't matter who's around me because if I'm not happy there's no point in me just dwelling on things that don't even matter um so that's kind of where the topic of where I aspire like do I aspire to be famous came from and I also wanted to talk about how I want to get off of YouTube as well um it's not going to be for a very long time but I'm going to challenge myself to once I upload this video to be off for a week just because I realized that YouTube has been turning into social media for me uh Facebook does it Facebook did it Snapchat did it Twitter did it and now YouTube is morphing into what Facebook does and told a bunch of like drama, told a bunch of things that, that are distracting. I just don't want my focus to be on that. So I am taking a break from YouTube um, to give myself just some mental, some mental break from like seeing everything that, that's happening online. And I still want to produce videos, but I'm going to see what, what happens, whether that helps my mental health or or what happens but I'm going to challenge myself to at least do a week and see how I feel with that and then I also wanted to talk about uh, recognizing that I'm a part of the problem so I know that I talk about uh, the concept of how people judge and how people how people always analyze the the flaws of others but I also do the same I I want to completely be honest with you in this moment and say that I myself have judged others a lot um because of their choices because of the way that they present themselves 
uh, because I think about their perspectives being wrong instead of mine being wrong. And I realize that all that stuff is really unhealthy. And um, all, all to say that no perception or no, there's no opinion that is right above another's. I think that everyone is entitled to feel the way that they are. Everyone is entitled to live their life the way they want to live it. And I'm recognizing that I was wrong. I was wrong and I realized that and I don't want to live that way anymore. I don't want to judge others. I don't want to hold stereotypes against others. I don't want to categorize people as bad and good because there is no such thing as a bad or a good person. There's just people that choose to do good and there's people that choose to do bad. But in the end, the choices that we make that they don't really define us. We just make them and that that's it. Um, and I feel like I myself have, have held myself into that category because I myself have chosen to categorize people that way as well. And I don't want to do that to others. So I realized that in order to break away that way that I'm thinking, I need to personally also stop thinking that way in terms in terms when it comes to other people I don't want to judge I don't want to st stereotype people and I realized that the only way to do that is to build a healthy way of catching myself from things that I need to stop so if I if I catch myself having stereotypes if I catch myself speaking mean or thinking mean about someone because I never speak it I think it and I realize I don't want to do that and whenever I think things bad, I'm starting to realize, like, I don't want to dwell on that because that way of thinking is just something that I don't want to identify with, nor is it me. So um, I'm going to try to, like, learn how to walk away when I feel those those sense of evil thoughts coming in, when I sense those thoughts of just bad intentions. I, I want to, like, distance myself, like, whether that's um in the moment or whether that's having to who to take a pause and breathe or having to rearrange that thought and realize like no I'm not gonna think that way I I don't identify with it but hopefully if you guys have any other helpful tips that can help me I would really appreciate it because it's something that I do struggle with and I do want to get over and I don't want it to continue on because I don't want to live my life like that I don't want to be identified with my environment and I know that I'm not perfect and neither will I ever be perfect but I think that for my sake and for others sake I want to be in a place where I'm able to Think happy thoughts, be happy thoughts, and do happy thoughts because that's what's going to make me see life different and that's what I want for myself. I want to see life different in a lens where I'm truly living and not worried about what other people think, nor am I worried about what I'm thinking about what they're thinking or what I'm thinking about what they're doing, you know? So I thought that I would share that with you guys and... um Lastly, just the concept of making this video is just accepting. It's just accepting the reality for what my life is, accepting the reality of who I am, and accepting the reality that I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm not I'm not a good person. I I'm just a person. And because of that, I have I'm always going to be working on things and I realize that I don't want it to overwhelm me. I don't want it to cause me to be um to be the center I just want to just relax and so uh part of that is relaxing and in, in what I'm wearing like it is what it is I'm wearing this but that doesn't that doesn't diminish my message of what I had to say and the power behind it so I just thought that I would share that and well I hope that you know next week when I'm back from YouTube that I'll see a difference and I'll just keep you guys updated also by the way I also realized that what I want this channel to be a focus on is my self journey through my my Christian walk I want it to be a self journey of my Christian walk because I realize that that's what I'm doing every video is my experiences and I talk about them and then I share what my what my my thoughts are on that and um, what things have changed, what things have 
have came up during my walk. And so I realized this, this channel is about a self journey through my walk as a Christian. And I want to inspire others that are also Christians or that are new to their faith um, to watch my videos and be encouraged because I'm on this walk. I'm on this walk with you. I am trying my best to be the best version of myself, trying to be more like Jesus. But of course, we can't do things alone. I trust in God and I trust that he's going to be the one to, to shape me and get me there. So I just want to share that with you. So I want to, you know, put an emphasis on the message of the self journey, um, emphasis on, on what I'm doing on this channel and, and just redirecting it to what I realize is what I'm doing. So that I would share that. Thanks for, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Bye.